In this video, I'm going to show you an application problem and use the substitution method to solve it for you. So what we're going to need to do is come up with our system of equations, so two equations, and then what we're going to need to do is then actually solve them. So what I'm going to first start with is just reading this scenario. It says, a snack bar sells two sizes of snack packs. There's a large snack pack that costs $5, and a smaller snack pack is $3. In one day, the snack bar sold 60 total snack packs, and they made a total of $220. How many small snack packs did the snack bar sell, and how many large snack packs did the snack bar sell? So I'm going to come up with two equations here, and one of them has to do with our uh, amount of money, the large snack pack and the small snack pack and the $220. And then the other equation is going to have to do with just the total number of snack packs sold. I'm going to also let x represent a small, uh, no, I'm going to do large because they told us large first. So I'm going to go and order what they told me. So since they told me large first, I'm going to let x represent large snack pack. And then I'm going to let y, my second variable, since they told me second snack pack, I mean, not that it really matters, uh, y will represent our small snack pack. Now, because I have an amount of money for the large plus an amount of money for the small plus a total amount of money made, I'm going to use what is called our standard form equation because I know per large snack pack, pack the cost is five dollars and per y the snack pack is three dollars and then that should equal the total amount of money so if i'm selling snack packs at five dollars each per x and three dollars each per y that would equal a total of 220 dollars now my other equation is going to come from just the the snack packs being sold so we're selling snack packs we're selling snack packs and money plus money equals the total money that you made. But if we just sell the snack packs, however many you sold for X and however many you sold for Y, the total is gonna be 60 snack packs sold. So this is my system of equations, and now what I need to do is solve my system. What I'm gonna do is in my second equation, I'm going to solve for Y, and I'm gonna do that by subtracting my X term over. And so y in the bottom equation will equal that x that I subtracted over plus the 60 that was already there. Now I'm going to use substitution because it says uh, right here in our direction substitution method. I'm going to plug this expression into the y of my other function. So I'm going to put that in there. So my top equation with my substitution will now be 5x plus 3y. So I'm going to uh, put this expression in here negative x plus 60, and that was equal to 220. Now my expression is in terms of x, and so now I'm gonna solve for my x variable. So 5x plus here, well actually, three times negative x is gonna be minus three x. Three times 60, uh, three times six is 18, and then there was a zero here, and then I got 220 here on the right side. Now for solving my x, I just need to Combine my like terms here, I got two x's, and subtract this 180 over to the other side. And I'm gonna have, let's see here, 220 minus 180, we get 40, and divide by two, our solution for our x, which was our large snack packs, the total we sold was 20 snack packs. And that was the large, now, if the total amount that we sold was 60, our x plus y was equal to 60, and I substitute 20 uh, large snack packs in, so 20 plus what number of small snack packs then makes 60. Well, if you subtract that 20, you get y is equal to 40 for the small snack pack. So here's our solution right here. It is... 20 large snack pack, 40 small snack pack, and I'm just going to write that here. Large snack and small snack. Great job.